welcome. This is uh, Fate's guide on how to play Fate's Dwarves vs. Zombies with help from all the mods. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is you're going to spawn. Let me get the graphics up here for you. You're going to spawn in a particular room. If you wonder what am I, you can do a forward slash W and you can see what class you are. Currently, I'm a tinker, so I'm in the tinker room and uh, I spawned with some emeralds. If I left click the emerald, BAM! It made more. Um, it made more emeralds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the chest and I'm going to put the emeralds in here because I don't use emeralds as a uh, as a tinker. Uh, toolsmiths do. In fact, the toolsmith has what I need. <coughs> so, that being said, pretty much just wait patiently as you can in here and just keep doing kit tinker and it'll tell you, okay, seven more seconds. So I'll wait seven more seconds and uh, Go do 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 do, and oh, you can't use it for another now. There we go, and see, bam, I got more. So just whatever class you are, you're gonna put the items from your kit in there. Now, um, if you're a builder, the only difference is the builders are gonna put only. Um, wait, did I? Did I did I oh, I'm on the wrong side. Okay, the builders are over here. They are gonna only put in um, wood, and uh, they don't put in stone. They put in wood and uh, iron ore, um, so don't don't fill this up with stone. All we want from you is the wood and the iron ore. So every 30 seconds, they're going to keep doing that. And then what the mods are going to end up doing is they're going to pick up the stuff and they're going to run it around. So they go over the cooks. They're going to give the cooks the bones from the alchemists. The alchemists are going to get the redstone from the other classes. See, he's got bones in here because he is an alchemist. He's going to need redstone. Take the bones, give them to the cooks. And that's how that works. Now, if you're in there and you're a cook and you're like, you know, cooks can spawn webs. If you, like, take the webs instead of put the webs in, we will find you and ban you because you're going to slow us down. We've banned quite a few people for that, so pay attention. All you're going to do, wait patiently, do your kit, put the stuff in here. So if you're a cook, you can take the bones out. However, if there's a whole bunch of cooks, just, you know, take half of it, right click, take half of it. That way somebody else gets it. You know, if you have like a stack or two, that's cool. But if you have like 15 stacks and none of the others have anything, then you got a problem. So we're just going to go around room by room to the different classes. See, they make redstone because they're a blacksmith. I'm going to go over here and give it to him. So he has some redstone to start with. See, he's doing it right. He's giving me more bones. And I'm going to go pick up these emeralds that I made earlier. And I'm going to run them over to where the toolsmiths would be. I'm going to put those, well, it didn't take, but those would go in there. So we just do this process, you know, for a few moments, for, you know, five, maybe ten minutes, depending, until everybody has stuff, and, until we go and find the people that have, you know, if there's a builder in there that's taking the wood out of the chest, we will find you, and we will ban you. So don't be that guy. We have a whole bunch of people that are crying to get in the game because they didn't listen. Um, at any rate, after the startup phase happens, then um, we're going to... We'll get warped out here to uh, the dwarf's spot here, and uh, we'll all be taken out here like this. Right ahead, that's the shrine. The glowstone is the shrine. The monsters are trying to destroy it, so you uh, are going to want to wall it up. If you're a builder, you're going to take the, the stones and start walling it up just like these guys are doing. Do not break the glowstone. You break the glowstone, um, you will be banned. So that's how that works. You see they're doing a good job with that. And a lot of times, um, it'll fly in. And then it is okay to, a lot of people just build on top of it like that. But it is okay to maybe break that glass and put that in there like that. But be careful, don't accidentally break the the uh, uh, shrine because that will get you a ban. And we watch this pretty uh, intently, so be careful about that. So the next step is people are going to need tools, and they're going to need furnaces. Like, the blacksmith's going to need a furnace to get started, and the cooks are going to need hose to get started, and so forth. So, usually what happens is people start making a, uh, uh, they start making shops at this stage. So we're going to make one right here. I'm not going to put it right against the wall, even though a lot of people like to. Um, you can still, like, do this sort of thing and wall it up, you know, through here or something, or whatnot, but they're going to want to have access to this, uh, uh, deal here. And now, see, he's asking for blocks, and since I'm a uh, builder, I'm going to give him the blocks that I can get. So, at, you know, right about time, I'm going to do kit builder. Or I'm going to pretend I'm a builder. 
So I get, you know, all these blocks. So here you go, you can build your houses now. And on top of it, the wood is the most critical thing because every class is going to need the wood to make workbenches. And there's some classes that need it more than anything. So, um, and, and those, those that are opt or whatever that can just change your class, go ahead and change your class to, uh, we need a tinker and we need a, um, a toolsmith for in here. So what we're going to do first, though, is we're going to build a, uh, it looks like we've got a dual shop going on here. Um, so they're going to make a, a shop that's next to each other, okay? So classes that work well together, um, build your shops next to each other, such as a blacksmith next to a uh, tailor is a good combo because uh, the blacksmith makes the weapons and the tailor makes the armor, and the blacksmith gets the gold from the tailor, so they can just like pop a hole in the wall and, and yeah, see they've got a little go-between. So I'm going to clear my inventory real quick and I'm going to give myself a chest and a workbench and a sign. So the next thing is um, the builders get all the wood. So they're, they're pretty much going around making sure everybody's got a workbench in their shop and uh, extra wood. And uh, there's going to be a chest that they're going to put like you're going to get a chest here and you're going to get a chest there. And we're going to get a chest here, and we're going to get a chest there. And um, these are going to be in and out boxes. So I'm going to pop myself up for a second. So I'm out here now. That's looking inside of the shop. So you can see there's, you know, a couple different sets of chests. So what happens is, let's call this one the in chest, and let's call this one the out chest. And then uh, I think they're doing that too, or somebody's starting one there, so then this will be an out as well. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, oh, uh, shoot. I just put a sign up in there. There we go. So this will be, let's say, the Tinker, and this will be the Toolsmith. And this way people can find you, and you're putting similar things together. Um, okay, so, now you know this is a, wait, Toolsmith and a Tinker. Okay, so a Tinker is going to go in here, and a Toolsmith is going to go in there. And uh, let me go back to where I was at. So, if I was, uh... I'm sorry. If I was a, a tinker, so I'm going to make myself a, a tinker, and uh, I'm going to make you a toolsmith. Okay, we're going to work together. Hello. Um, we're going to work together. Um, let's see. Perhaps, how did I have this? Was it tinker and the toolsmith? So this is my house. So hopefully, um, if, if I was a... Uh, a builder, I'm going to stop by the inbox and go, here you go, here's some wood. So I'll be waiting for a, a builder to come by and put wood in here. I'm going to take it, and now um, I can start doing some stuff with it. Um, okay, so now, um, since I'm a tinker, I'm going to do kit tinker, and look, I've got some uh, emeralds here. And uh, Deschutes is a toolsmith. He needs these emeralds to make diamond weapons. So pretend that diamonds are emeralds, and that's how that works. So the very first thing is you've got to get uh, the uh, toolsmith geared up for two things. He needs to make a pick, and he needs to make a hoe. And not just one, but several. So every 30 seconds, I'm going to keep hooking him up. Um, I think i still got to wait. Yep. Oh, five more seconds. And he's going to be giving me um, sand, and uh, I'm going to be stockpiling that because I'll show you what tinkers do with that in a moment. And then there's always like a personal chest inside. So if you're out there, don't bust into the house and start putting blocks in here or getting in the personal chest because we do ban griefers for that. So Bob's saying he needs a pick. So um, the shoots is going to make a pick. He's going to check his inbox. Um, I'm going to do my kit tinker. And in his inbox, I'm going to go, here you go. Or maybe, is that, that's the outbox, isn't it? So he put some some stuff in the outbox, and then I'm going to go to his inbox and go, here you go. Give him half of what I got. There we go. So you, you see how this works? You've got an in and an outbox. So you drop the supplies off in his in, in his inbox so he can make stuff, and then in the outbox you can come by and pick up stuff. So I need a pick. So I'm going to grab one, and I'm going to step outside of my house for a moment, and I'm going to go get some cobble. Oops, i got to turn off... Uh, could actually mine this. So we're going to keep mining. So this is the next step for me as a tinker. And while this is going on, um, I'm going to keep doing kit tinker because he's going to need more and more of those emeralds. Like you're, you're just going to want to spam your kits every 30 seconds. I mean, you, you want to milk them as much as you can. 
And so he's going to make hose, because that's the next step. But my next step is I need to get furnaces made. Tinkers make the furnaces, and tinkers make glass and glass potions. So there's enough to get started. So blacksmiths are going to be coming to my house going, man, I need a furnace. So I'm going to be making that right now. And the uh, toolsmith is going to be making hose so the other builders can go and start working on the farm. Okay, I'm just make as many as I can. So you want to make one for yourself because you're going to be need cooking glass. But then you're going to have extras. So that's my inbox. I'm going to see if there's anything in there at the moment. Nobody drop anything off. So my outbox, if a blacksmith came by, he'll go, man, I need some furnaces. So I'm going to go, here you go, bro. There's where you get your furnaces. Now I'm going to use my furnace to go over here like that and I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna take some of this wood put it in here and that sand that the toolsmith makes the sand is going to be cooked into glass since I'm the only one who can cook glass and I'm the only one who can turn glass into uh, uh, stuff um, yeah no no need to show people how to grieve because I just explained it yeah so he would be banned for um, Previs is showing you how you would be banned so don't do that we've banned so many people for that so stay out of their houses, because it will, uh... Okay, so now, um, I need to do my kit tinker again. There we go. I'm going to go into his inbox and go, here you go. Oops, can't make it in there. Here is some more emeralds, and I'm going to pretend that another builder knew what to do and dropped off the stuff. So we can keep making tools. I'm going to go look at the outbox, and there's not any in here at the moment because I think some people collected them. But as a toolsmith, you're going to be making all the tools. You need to make some shovels, you need to make hoes, and you need to make picks. First thing is going to be hoes, and second thing is going to be picks. Uh, or right and around that order. So the builders, if you're a builder, you're not just building the city and, and spawning wood and stuff. You're also running stuff around, and you're helping with the farm. So when uh, a hoe gets made, they're going in there, and I think one of them are going to go start working on the farm to show you how that works in a moment. So now that I have some glass made, I'm going to keep getting sand from the toolsmith. The toolsmith's able to spawn a sand, and uh, I get that. I go over here, and you make... Um, glass bottles the way you would imagine normally like this and I guess I don't have enough for another one but as you can see I got six so I'm gonna go to my outbox and uh, somebody already got the furnace so that's how that works gotta keep filling this up with furnaces so you have to keep going and getting cobble or maybe somebody will come and drop it in your inbox and somebody got the glass so an alchemist is gonna come by and get those bottles from you and that's the main core to uh, how a uh, tinker works, but there's one more little special role that the tinker plays, is if you take a diamond pick and you put it in the furnace, it starts cooking. Look at that. What's it going to make? What, what, what happens when you cook up a diamond pick? Well, we'll see. We will see. Oh my god, obsidian. How about that shit, right? So, um, what is obsidian going to be really used for? Well, um, we're going to look at the shrine again, and um, so I'm, in, I'm near the shrine, and um, the shrine is inside of that, so what I would do is I'd kind of like bust my way in and get to where the shrine is, and then just start encasing it in obsidian on the inside, so that it'd be really hard for the monsters to get through it. Now, the slime class as a monster can break it, because it has a pick, but it takes a long time to bust through, and it uh, definitely slows them down. So that covers those two classes for the most part. You can see how you can see how to build a normal shop and how you want to build a shop next to another class that you can hook the other one up with. So I'm going to do my kit tinker again just because I can. And I'm going to go, oh look, it's a toolsmith. Here you go, bro. There is some more of that. Now if I was a builder, I want to be constantly running around making walls and encasing this. Um, I think the I think the tinkers do make the buckets too. So, and it might be blacksmith. I don't know if I ever defined it, but I think we are going to do that. Um, so, also buckets are going to be made by the the tinkers too. So, you're going to want to drop off iron ore to the tinkers so they can cook it in the furnace for you, and then they'll make buckets. See, there we go. And then uh, let me go inside to my. Let's see if I can go back. And then know how to make a bucket it's just the same way is that oh wait okay I think you I think it is blacksmiths that make the uh, buckets I may I may change that but at the moment I, I think blacksmiths make the buckets I guess for some reason 
Okay, so at any rate, yeah, once a bucket's made, um, then uh, you're going to put it in the outbox for people to pick up. So, now on to the next class. Somebody said they wanted to do, what are we doing next? Um, cooks, yeah. So, this is the startup phase. This is the first thing that needs to happen between the classes, because now we have tools to get started, and furnaces for the blacksmiths to do what they're doing. So, if I'm a builder, I'm going to have a uh, diamond hoe. Alright. So he's going to be a cook. Orange is going to be the cook here. And um, cooks, they get uh, seeds to get started, so they're going to do their kit cook. And they're also going to get um, webs, and you're going to use those webs um, to give to the tailors. And we'll get into the tailors in a moment to make uh, armor. So you're going to go off and find a good little spot inside the keep and start you know, farming like this and plant your you know, seeds. And you're going to need bones to... Uh, could grow this. So the, the alchemists um, have a. Uh, I'm gonna go back here and pretend that this is the shop. So pretend this is an alchemist shop. Um, I'm gonna do my kits, uh, alchemist. What do they get? They get bones. So in my outbox, I'm gonna put bones in here. So you know, cooks can come by and get them, but more than likely, it's gonna be builders that are gonna come and pick these up and take them over to the farm and um, use the. Uh, Use the bones. Let me turn this rain off real fast. Okay. And then we're going to take the bones, go like this in your inventory, and crush them up into bone meal. And uh, I've got a lot. So I'm going to go, here you go, other builders. Here, help me grow the crops. So we go over here and hit the crops like that. And you want to make as big of a farm as you can, like, you know, uh, 10 by 10 would be great, because there's going to be a lot of people needing food. And if you're a cook, you could o spend your whole time just doing the farming itself, but ultimately, um, you're going to need to be able to make, um, let me make myself one real quick, uh, workbench. Okay. So, um, as I get wheat from these guys, I'm going to take the wheat. So give me the wheat as you uh, see it's making wheat. Go pick that up. Just throw it at me. So they're going to keep on. So idealistically, the cook is just going to sit here and make food while the builders like help make the farm. So okay, we got uh, three pieces of wheat. Look, it makes three bread. I made it make more food than you would normally get, but it doesn't stop there. Don't just give them bread. We can take the bread, put it in here like this, and holy crap, turned into a fish. Let's do it again cookies what else can we get there's like about six different types of food but is that gonna be cake that time okay cookies again so just like that other shop you're gonna have um we're gonna go back oh you need more bone meal okay hang on and and yeah you gotta make sure that um the uh alchemists are making enough bone meal to keep that going so we're gonna go back so let's pretend this is a cook shop and I'm going to go to my outbox and say, here you go, here's food, don't starve to death on me. Now, don't go and take all the food from the shop. You know, just go, oh, here, I'll take about 20 cookies, that's pretty good. Or I'll take one of these fish. You know, make sure there's surplus before you start hoarding it, okay? Now, um, so that covers cook. Now, the one thing uh, about cook is the cooks make webs. Yeah. I hope I can do this right. Hit cook. So why do you need webs? You don't as a cook. You do need the seeds. You're going to use those to get started. But you're going to get webs. So what do you do with the webs? You go to the shop that is a tailor shop. Go to his inbox and put the webs in the inbox. Okay, like that. Now I'm going to have to change myself into a tailor so you can see how this works. So now I'm a tailor. I'm going to go into my inbox, pick up the webs, and uh, I'm going to... Oh, I need a sword, too, and this is why you have to make sure that the uh, blacksmith is making weapons. We'll cover that in a moment, but I'm just going to give myself a, a sword for now, just to show you. Take the webs, put them down like this in your shop, and then you're going to cut them up. Like that. Oh, okay, and see, it's turning into string. I'm going to do that until I run out. Okay, I ran out. Doop. Doop. Okay, we'll pick all those up. So I got eight. That's pretty good. So, if I take these strings and put them into a cube like this, it makes wool. Now, what do I do with the wool? I'm going to make some more wool just so I can show you a little bit more of this exercise. Alright, so I'm going to take the wool, I'm going to put it in the very top slot, that makes a helmet. 
If I put it into the bottom slot, that makes boots. If I put it into the bottom left and bottom right, I'm gonna get leggings, right there and there. If I put it into the middle, bottom middle, and middle middle, it gets a chest plate. Now look at that one. That one ended up having buffs. There's a chance that all these could have buffs, so the more you make, you know, I can just sit here and keep making them. You can't shift click these because it randomly rolls each time. How many of these are we going to have to make until we get buff boots? We're getting stingy on the buffed ones. See, there's some buffed ones. Ooh, fire protection. How about that, right? So, after I've made these, these go into the outbox. So I go, here you go, guys. Have some armor. So, again, if you're a builder, you're going to go to the cooks and say, hey, I need some web, and run it over to the tailor's house and put it in the inbox like that. Okay, now on to blacksmith. Um, blacksmith are going to need gold. So, I'm a tailor. I'm going to do kit tailor, and guess where the gold comes from? The tailor! How about that shit, right? So, we go to the inbox on the... Or, this is the outbox, I'm sorry. This is the inbox, so if I was a blacksmith, um, I will... Uh, well, since I'm a tailor, I'm going to go put this into the inbox for the blacksmith shop. So pretend this is a blacksmith shop. And then I'm going to go, oh, look, somebody brought me some gold. Oh, thank you, dude. And you're just going to keep doing your kits as often as you can to make sure everybody has stuff. So then we're going to take it and put it into the furnace. I get some more wood. And remember, wood has got, you know, you get that from the, uh, from the builders. So we're going to cook that until we have a lot of gold. Now, what do we do with the gold? There's, is there no more food in the thing? Okay, I'll check it out. Okay, we'll check it in just a second. I'll show you what a good farm looks like. I'm just finishing up uh, Blacksmith. So, I'm going to just give myself um, gold uh, bar. So, we'll pretend we got quite a bit of bar of gold. And the other thing you're going to need is sticks. So, again, um, if, the, if I was a Blacksmith shop and you were a builder, come by here and drop wood off in my uh, thing here. Oh, and here's another thing. See, they dropped off food for me. See, this is my inbox. This is all for me. So I'm like, oh, thank you guys. You gave me food. I'm not going to starve to death. So that was a very good job um, farming there. And see all the different kinds of food you can make. So if you have a, a cook and an alchemist that are working together with a whole bunch of builders, you'll end up having enough food and your team won't starve to death. Um, so now, how to make weapons. So in my inbox, I'm going to you know, pick up this wood that a builder dropped off for me. I'm going to go over here, I'm going to make it into sticks. In fact, I'm going to use all of this for sticks for this example. Oops. i got to turn it into boxes first, do all those. And then I'm going to take that, go like that, and we got sticks. Okay, very simple. Put one stick up here, take your gold, and make a gold sword. As easy as you can get. Oh, wait, I've got to be... Hang on. See, it won't even let me do it unless I'm a uh, blacksmith. So let's try that again. Okay, we're going to go here and put sticks up there, and we're going to get some gold. We're going to put it like that, and we'll make a gold sword. But look, it turned into a diamond sword, so we're going to make a few of these. Oops. Until hopefully I get a buffed one. Come on. Give me some luck. Give me luck. There. Oh, there's one. Look at that. Sharpness one and fire aspect one. So you just keep... This This is all there really is to um, that part of it. Um, there's two more things to know about. One is, how do you make arrows? It's all sticks, just like that. So three sticks will give you four arrows. So I'm going to make as many of those as I can. So there's 24 more of those. Now, um, the last thing is bows. And so you, you saw how to get string um, from, uh, from the webs from the cooks. So you'll still want some strings dropped off at you every once in a while. And you make a bow like you would imagine. You make a bow just like you normally do in Minecraft, like this. And then we'll make a few of those. Oh, look at that. An enchanted bow. And a flame one bow. That's pretty awesome. There's another one. There's a power one bow. And uh, another flame one bow. So these are pretty... Seems like I'm getting kind of lucky on the enchantments. But did you see how that works? So weaponsmiths... Or blacksmiths are pretty much the weaponsmith. So I'm going to go to my outbox and go, Here you go, guys. Here's weapons. Now you guys can have weapons. And here's the arrows. So that, that covers pretty much all of that. I'm going to take these out. And, uh, what else do we have? What what class did I miss here, guys? I know we're missing a couple here. Um, can you guys think of one that I forego? The Taylor, Cook, Alchemist. Alchemist, yeah, there we go. Okay, how does Alchemist work? This is one people ask a lot of questions about. So, Alchemists need redstone. So I'm going to go to my 
inbox and where's the redstone come from it comes from blacksmith so blacksmith will do kit blacksmith and drop this off for the alchemist um, they're going to take the redstone put it in their inventory from their inbox they're going to go to the crafting table right here and we're going to put this in like this it takes six redstone and it makes it oh i gotta be an alchemist hang on alchemist okay now I'm going to take that redstone and we're going to go like uh, this, 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 and this. And we got a potion stand. So that's how you get started. You can make as many of these as you've got redstone for. And uh, so we're going to go and take this and put this back here. So now i got a, a potion stand in my uh, thing here. So what do we do now? Um, we're going to need a couple different things. You're going to need water and you're going to need glass and a pail. And I believe we... Let me, let me verify this real quick. I want to say it's the blacksmith that does this. Let me get an iron bar. So you're going to need a bucket. So we're going to. So I'm a blacksmith, and I'm going to see if I can make a bucket for an alchemist. Okay, it is not the blacksmith. It is the toolsmith. It's either toolsmith or tinker. Okay, so it's. I could have sworn it. Yeah, I guess it is the Tinker. I guess that's what I did since they make the other stuff. They'll do Tinker. Okay, let's try that again. Oops. There we go. So Tinkers not only make um, the glass uh, bottles for an alchemist, they also make the bucket. Okay, and I showed you guys a few moments ago how the Tinker cooks the glass and then takes the glass and makes it into bottles. So we'll pretend that I got some uh, glass bottles and uh, they got dropped off to me in my inbox or maybe I went to go pick them up so those will be in my inbox, that'll be in my inbox, and that'll be in my inbox so tinkers are best friends to alchemists because you can get the bucket and I'll show you what you do with that in a moment and you get these bottles of water and we'll take the redstone for now I'm going to sneak out of my shop <coughs> and my shop is right over there, the one that I just made, so I'm going to go show you where the water's at. It's on the south side of this map. Right over there. We got a nice little uh, pond over here. So I'm going to run over here. Now that I got a bucket from a tinker as an alchemist. And um, I'm going to go get some water. And we're going to take this back to my house. And since we're here, we can do it this way too. If you want to manually go yum, 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 and get water that way. But um, it's a lot faster if you go back and uh, put the water in your house. That's why we got the bucket. So remember, get the bucket and the glass bottles from a tinker. So we're going to go back into the shop. I'm going to go into my shop. And, uh... Where did I go? Do, do, do. Okay, here's my potion thing. So I'm going to dig a little hole like that. I'm going to take my bucket of water, put it in there. Now I've got as much water as I'm going to need. So we're going to take all of this water here and fill up the bottles until I'm full. I'm full. And then we're going to go use the potion stand. We're going to take redstone, put it in the top. And then we're going to take uh, these water bottles and cook them. And we're going to end up with a mundane potion. And let me make sure I am not an alchemist. So, right, uh, alchemist. Okay, so I'm an alchemist. So we're waiting for those to cook. And then idealistically, I'll have more than one potion stand inside my shop. Um, now, are we done? Okay, so we got these mundane potions. I'm going to pull them out. A little bit more water in. So you just keep this process going on. And then this is the last step to this. Uh, now I just got to find which one of these is the mundane. So these. So I'm going to put it up there like that. And click. Wait. I think there's a change the formula for this. Uh, really? Wait. Oh, it's a water bottle. Of course. It's that one. Okay, see, it only takes one mundane potion to turn into a potion here. So I'm going to click on it and put it down there, and look, it turned into a random other potion. It looked like a healing potion, but it could be several things. A splash, two of strength. How about that? And then we'll take another one, put it in here. It's going to look like a health potion. It might end up being a health potion, and it was health potion two. So that that's really all there is to um, Alchemist. Your key is that you got to get that bucket so you can get your water, and then you need a constant supply of redstone, and you're going to need lots and lots of glass bottles so you can keep pumping these out. As you make your potions, just like every class, go to your outbox go like this and go, here you go, guys, take those potions. And um, we'll end up hoping that one of the builders knows enough to drop off this uh, glass bottles in here so just keep it going. Um, 
I think that's the bulk of the classes. Can you guys remember if I missed any? The last thing to know about uh, how to play is uh, is that um, on the second night. Oops. Ah, did that wrong. There you go. So, um, if you die, you're going to be a monster. And Bob is a monster. Oh my god. So, um, two night cycles are going to happen. So, there's going to be the first day, sun goes down at night time, second day, and on the end of the second day, when the sun starts setting, shortly after that, usually by the midnight of that day, an assassin will be picked. And what will happen is, um, I'll, I'll get you out in just a second, Bob. Um, we're going to do the assassin first. Um, I'm going to pretend that, uh, oh, come out of here. Okay, the shoots are going to be the assassin. And he's gonna get Kit Assassin when that happens, and you get all this awesome gear. You get a really awesome sword, you get some pretty good chain armor, some snowballs to throw in some food. So he's the assassin now. If I go and do a who, you can see he's the assassin. So that means that he's gonna go and try to kill any of the remaining dwarves. Don't actually kill Orange here, but you can see you can attack him and so forth. Now, after the assassin actually dies, then um, we're going to go inside of monster spawn here, and we see, oh, Bob is a Enderman. And uh, let's go outside of this. There's going to be, um, this will be blocked up with uh, blocks, and we'll break those and let you out. And so then the monsters are going to come out of here and start making their way up the hill over into this area and then finally down to where the base is. Now imagine the builders have been working and there's walls up and there's layers of stuff. It depends on how diligent the um, monster or the builders are in not just building the base but running equipment around. Because if the, if the builders have been working really hard getting the stuff to the different players, all the dwarves will have armor, all the dwarves will have some extra potions, they'll all have food, none of them will starve. But the more that starve and the more that die from falling off, means that when this phase happens, there'll be more monsters to uh, get going. So, ultimately, um, this is kind of your idealistic way to build a shop. And in fact, um, not only is this the method, you really want to have somebody next to you that is of uh, use. In this case of a toolsmith, um, you know, he wants to be next to a tinker. Um, an alchemist will probably want to be on the end of this, because he's going to want to keep getting glass bottles and stuff from him. So an alchemist could go here. And then maybe the food could go, uh, you know, the cook could go next door to that because the cook gets, um, uh, is going to need bones from the alchemist. And next door to the cook shop, you could end up having the tailors because they need the webs from the cooks. And then next door to that, you could have a blacksmith because they're going to need the gold from the tailor. So that would be like the idealistic chain of stuff. Um, of course, in this case, the blacksmith's going to have the redstone. You'll have to run it a little ways down here to the alchemist shop and put it in his inbox. But it, you see how that works? And then also, you don't all have to have your own little special shop. You may want to have, uh, you know, all the tinkers could have one big tinker shop next to one big tailor shop. You're better off consolidating than having, you know, little stuff everywhere. As well as um, if, you know, there's a, a wall here or whatnot. Um, you know, some people build walls all the way up to here, but you've got to realize that most of the time, the monsters are coming in from this side. So you'll have to plan and think accordingly. Also, toolsmiths, if they get enough tools out and the builders are smart enough, they can start tearing away at that wall there and get it down far enough to where it's you know, not as easy for the monsters to just you know, waltz into that if there is a drop-off. Um, I think that covers most of everything. Um, this video is not going to cover the monster classes uh, exceptionally, like what classes do what. We'll make a separate video for that. But just know that each class has its own role. Uh, the slimes are able to break through walls. The endermen are able to like place a couple blocks and teleport. The pigmen are able to burrow under stuff. So you, you want to put um, stones on the bottom of the... Uh, uh, you need to put stones on the bottom of your base so that they don't uh, you know, burrow in that way and uh, that sort of thing. So the skeletons snipe with their arrows and uh, uh, spiders are able to use poison um, and put up vines like webs for other classes to get in. So you just got to be careful. 
to uh, you know work together as a team on both sides to make it work. So I hope that answers the majority of, of your questions. If you have any other questions, go to fatesdvz.wiki.org. I'm sorry, wikispot.org. Right there. That is the place to go if you want to know anything further or, or just a, you know, a non-video version of what we just went over. And then lastly, faithcraft.enjin.com. That's our website. If you get banned, that's where you go post the banned appeals. If you want to donate, that's where you go donate. If you've got an idea, a suggestion, post them in the forums there. Um, so that actually covers just about everything. I hope you guys kind of get a better idea how to play. Uh, now that we got a kind of a how-to guide video, we may make like a 2.0 of this as we expand some of the new classes. There'll be new monsters coming in and a couple other dwarf classes coming in. So hope this uh, helps you guys out. I'm going to get this out to YouTube as well, so uh, you'll be able to see it on Twitch and YouTube and that sort of thing. Thanks, mods, that we're cooperating uh, with uh, getting this explained. And uh, with that... Go ahead and end the video and uh, look forward to you guys uh, playing with us in the future. The IP is 37.59.137.210. That's the IP to get into the server. It's not always up. It's only up when I can run it because it's not an automatic server. Um, and we're going to have some games pretty much every evening, almost every day, that I can pull it off. We haven't not done it, <laughs> in it every single day in a row, so... Uh, and we usually do it for several hours on end at even late times if I can pull it off. So um, definitely be looking for us. Get on the Twitch feed um, to be able to find out more information in case this is YouTube and you don't know it. It's uh, twitch.tv forward slash gamerfates. And if you're on Twitch and want to see my YouTube videos, it's youtube.com forward slash matdog, D-A-W-G, 420. So that covers everything. Uh, if you have any other questions, comments, stuff, post them on the forums, and yeah, so we'll end this now and hope to see you.